Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I am doing a piece in my, um, my Valentine's Day series where I'm celebrating love. So I've got uh, different aspects of love that I'm covering in different paintings, and this one is all about love of nature, specifically love of the water. So I've got lovely water-themed colors, and I'm doing a micro swipe in the shape of a heart. Now, I'm a big ocean lover. I love to snorkel. I love to scuba dive. I love fish. Uh, you know, I love the beach. I love everything about water. So this is right up my alley. And I know a lot of other people love the water too. So let's get started. Yeah, we're doing a micro swipe, which is a silicone swipe with very small swipe tools. So I've got these little plastic pieces. So I'm gonna have a white base. All right, a white base, and then I'm doing it in the shape of a heart, and it's going to be flowing. So I've got blue tape here. I laid, um, I sketched out a heart on some parchment paper so that I could make sure that it was the right size, and then I put some blue tape on to cover the line, and then cut out on the line so that I'd have this nice shaped kind of custom edge here. Now blue tape does not seal perfectly to the canvas, but this is a good guide to help the shape be the right way. And then I've also sketched a line here for the other, you know, part of the heart. So all of my colors are mixed with Floetrol and water, about one part paint to two parts Floetrol and then mixed with water until they're medium thin. That one looks thicker than it actually is. Let me see if I can show you a better, better example. There we go. Medium thin. And the same with my base paint. It is also mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol and thinned with water. So I have metallic blue from Sargent, I have metallic purple from uh, Craftsmart, metallic teal from Blick Studio Acrylics, and this Caribbean blue from Apple Barrel, and then I have some dark navy in this squeeze bottle. This is going to be sort of the leading edge. Um, so that's a mix of phthalo blue and black. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting the white base coat um, just on this half of the canvas. So I've done a few other um, of these micro swipes with a profile, and I love the way they turn out. I've done a, a seahorse and a couple of fish, um, but I've never done a just a shape so I'm excited to do this heart. I put on a lot of base coat, probably more than I needed. Let me actually pick up some of that and put it back in. Because you don't need a really thick coating. Not yet. We'll add some more to fill in, but I want to make sure that there's plenty of space for the color to be put down first. Uh, I'm going to torch the base just to get rid of the, the obvious air bubbles. This is not super important if you're using Floetrol and water as your mixture because the bubbles don't, they don't really lock into the paint as much as with some other techniques. So I'm going to start by putting a bit of my edge color down. And I'll add a little bit more of this when I'm about to swipe it. Okay, um, I think metallic teal next. And on this side that I'm doing here, I really don't need 
lot of paint because it's it doesn't have to travel very far. On this side we'll need more because it has to go farther. I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning, but all of my colors, there's one drop of Floetrol in each color, except for the base color and the dark navy. That doesn't have silicone in it. Did I say Floetrol? Silicone. A drop of silicone. That's what I meant to say. Sometimes I'm not sure what I say. Okay, there's the metallic teal. Um, then we'll do a little bit of this Caribbean blue. Oh, that's a nice color. Okay, and lastly, this metallic blue is a great color. I'm excited about all these metallics. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the Caribbean here where the paint has to travel the farthest just to make sure that there's plenty of color. bit more of the metallic teal also. Okay, so now I need to spread the base coat until it touches the colors. Okay, before I swipe this section, which is what I'm going to do first, um, I'm going to add a little bit more of my dark navy to the top so that I can be sure to swipe that across the other colors. Okay, so I've got a few different size swipe tools. Um, I'm going to start with the smallest one. sort of do it at a little bit of a diagonal here. Well, that's super pretty. So the hardest part with doing a heart is I have to actually create the heart shape on this side with these little swipes. When you're doing a curved line, sometimes you have to bring in a little piece and then, um, then swipe across this way. And it's okay that the edges are not looking perfect right now because I'm going to tweak that in a minute after I've got the whole shape created. But that's looking beautiful. The colors are wonderful. Um, okay, so now I need to add a little bit more white paint here so I can start here at the top and swipe and finish the heart. There was a gnat flying around. As any fluid artist knows, gnats and flies are absolutely our worst enemy. Okay, uh, got the white here. So let me start swiping. Oh, no. I need 
more of my swipe color. So at some point this is going to have to touch this, and I'm not sure when exactly that's going to be. I guess it's right there. Okay, I'm going to use my vacuuming straw and suck up some of this paint. I like having a straw handy for every painting, just to be ready to either blow to shape the paint or to vacuum up areas where you have too much paint or you don't like the way it's looking. Okay, next one, I'm gonna make it... Eh, yeah. No, the next one I'm gonna make just a little piece here. Man, the cells here are so pretty with the with the teal and the purple. Oh, I love it. Uh, I've pretty much finished with the plastic swipe tools. It's looking amazing. Um, there's a couple bits here that will need to get tweaked, but before I tweak them, I'm going to pull up my blue tape, clean up my edge, and add the rest of the base coat. And then I will, once I can see exactly what it looks like, then I'll, I'll finish the whole design. Actually, no, there's one little section that I have to do right here with just a bit of paper towel. So this is the part where you look at it and you go, ah, that looks terrible. It's just because the paint has seeped under the tape, but we can wipe that off easily and uh, add some white paint and it makes a nice clean edge. All right, that's looking better already. And now we can just add some white base and gently push it up around to, to meet that edge. This is looking amazing. So there's two things that I'm thinking as I'm looking at this. First of all, I have to torch this side. The actual things that I was thinking were this point needs to come down a little bit farther. So I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of the navy. And 
a little purple because there's not really enough space for anything else to come up. And then I'm going to swipe it with a little piece of paper towel. So just touch it into that navy. Okay, that's pretty good. And now I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a nice pointy, pointy tip, but also bubbly and flowy. Okay, so we've got these lovely clean edges, and I will touch those up with a brush, so they've gone slightly wobbly from where the white paint has crunched in on them. But that's okay, because once it dries, I'll just take some of this, the navy paint, and just touch it all up. So what I'm going to do now is there's one spot in here where there was white that ended up coming all the way through here and I don't love that. So I'm just going to take a little piece of paper towel and dip it in the metallic teal and just put it right here. There we go. And I can fill in with some navy if I need to once the painting is dry. So the next thing to do is take a popsicle stick or a little palette knife or something and I like to just break up the ends of these swipes so that it really looks like flowing water. Yeah, that's amazing. I love that. Um, I'm gonna try to pull a little bit of this blue over here into the dark. So that the first flow is kind of busting into the second one. Um, but I will touch up fine details with the dark navy once it's dry. So now what I need to figure out is, do I add anything around the outside? Any details or do I leave it as is? When I've made other uh, animals with this basic design, I've had like dots all over, like little bubbles. And I don't know if I want to do that today. I want to try something and I'll just do it in the base coat and it'll be easy to take off if I don't like it. So just a, a dot of paint. It's got an air bubble, so. Um, and then I want to take my palette knife and drag it through Okay, so it looks kind of like a heart, but it looks kind of like a broken heart. So I'm not going to do that. It's a good idea. But, it's not happening today. I think I will add some dots of paint. I think just white everywhere is going to look too stark.
Okay. I am really happy with this. And I think it's finished. I think I've put on the right amount of dots. I might have gone a little crazy with it, but I think that's a little better than having nothing. So, yeah. Let me give you a close-up. Okay, so here it is. Now, you might notice it's slightly different because I turned off the video and then I stepped back and looked at it and I said, oh dear, there's way too many polka dots and the polka dots have grown way too big. And for me, I like the look of dots like bubbles in the water, but not polka dots. So it's a fine line between water bubbles and polka dots. So I just used a palette knife to um, scoop the, the spots that I didn't like off the canvas and fill it back in with white. And then when the canvas is dry, it'll be easier for me to add the bubbles of the right size. And they won't grow because they're not being put into wet paint. Anyway, let me give you a close-up of all these bubbles. I just love this bubbly effect that a micro swipe gives. I think the purple here along with that dark leading edge is amazing. And then these flowy lines leading over here to the second one. And then all the wisps coming out on this side. It's just so pretty and such an easy technique to get an amazing effect. All right, so I'm still gonna do some touch-ups with a brush. I'll be cleaning up that dark uh, left edge and a little bit in the middle and maybe adding a few more little bubble dots. So once it's dry, I'll show that to you because I don't think you wanna watch me brush painting for a long time. So I will show you the finished dried result. Okay, so here it is. This is it all cleaned up. As you can see, I smoothed out this front edge and just painted it so it's much much smoother and cleaner than it was before. I also touched up that section just to make it look neater and so that you could see the the color from the one side flowing over the dark base. Um, I also did more with those dots around the outside. I took away some of the larger ones I painted around some of the ones that had kind of gotten warped and then added a bunch more of the little little dots because I like the effect that those dots give as long as it doesn't look like giant polka dots. Um, but yeah, it's got great metallic sparkle. That purple and blue really shine, so I love this one. I love how it turned out. And uh, thanks for joining me for this one. I hope you'll come back to my channel and watch some of the other ones from this series. I will see you for the next one. Bye.